Card content creators keep releasing videos like this. We're back with another prices dropping video. <laughs> For raking news and a sports card radio, the sports card market continues to crash. A lot of people have been messaging me saying, do you see another crash coming? Is another crash happening right now? The bottom is here, or at least it's near. 2023 will be a better year for sports car prices than most of you believe. In my opinion, these content creators are treating us like children, or maybe they don't understand it themselves. The card market is based on the larger economy. The sports card boom and bust actually had nothing to do with people's involvement in sports cards. It had to do with stimulus money, people not working, PPP checks, and now the economy is getting rougher, and what's happening? Card prices are falling, and it's very predictable and very easy to see if you study the world around you. Yet these creators continue to push content as if the sky was falling and it's not. There's actually more people in sports cards, trading cards, the entire card hobby, market, industry, business today than there has ever been. Deals are here to stay for a while and it's just crazy what these guys are talking about. How do they not see it? Interest rates up, groceries, energy, your food, you go to the gas pump, everything is more expensive than it was one year ago, two years ago, three years ago. Have you tried fast food lately? McDonald's raised its prices by about 10% in its previous quarter to combat those higher operating costs. While the food away from home actually is up 8.5% compared to the food at home, up 12% according to the latest CPI report. So consumers looking to dine out on a dime here across the board at some of the top food chains, they're actually seeing menu price increases up double digits. Wendy's up 35%, Chick-fil-A up 15.6%, Taco Bell up 14.6%. The bottom is here, or at least it's near. This card market continues to crash. You didn't hear it wrong. Grocery prices have actually gone up more than fast food prices. And don't lose the overall message. The point is, people do not have extra money right now to go out and spend on sports cards. It's awesome. It's amazing that the card market is still thriving. But yes, prices are down because people don't have as much money as they had to frivolously spend. Food prices are still up more than 10% from a year ago. While consumers' budgets get squeezed at the grocery store. The bottom is here, or at least it's near. 2023 will be a better year for sports card prices than most of you believe. For being involved in sports cards, it actually gives you an in and some knowledge on the economy, whether you knew it or not. Sports cards tell a tale of how much discretionary income or how much extra money people have to spend on things they don't need. And it is a complete just want and something you have to have extra money to buy. And by tracking the card market, you are following what the trend is across America. Currently, we're sitting at prices have arisen all over the place. People have less money to go out and spend. There was just a big drop in U.S. consumer spending, a signal that the 2023 recession is here and it's getting worse. With MarketWatch reporting that retail sales tumbled in yet another sign of a softening U.S. economy, sales have now fallen in four of the past five months. After two years of inflation, after record low personal savings rates, we are now finally seeing the consumer spending recession hit the economy in 2023, which greatly increases the chances that the unemployment rate's gonna surge. What do businesses do when profits go down? I'll tell you what they do. They lay off. More layoffs work. are bleeding into corporate America. Clorox announced its second round of job cuts as it looks to trim costs and adapt to changing consumer preferences. And Whole Foods is reportedly cutting several hundred corporate roles, according to the Wall Street Lyft Journal. plans to cut more than 1,200 jobs, which is about 30% of the workforce. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. As we speak, another round of job cuts is underway at Disney. Starting today, several thousand positions are reportedly on the chopping block before the week is up. The layoffs are happening in divisions across the company from entertainment to ESPN to parks, experiences, and products. Some argue the recession just started. So car deals are here and they're here to stay for a while. So it's important. Put your money where it's smart. I'm gonna give you a great indicator. The next cycle where people have extra money, discretionary spending, the economy is not being talked about as a recession, but people have a booming market. Well, that's when you'll see sports cards start to trek 
way, way back up. And I look forward to that. And until then, make smart purchases and look at the pop count. I'm starting to get the feeling a lot of card people don't understand what that really means. So let's take a look at the base 1999, the OG original Charizard. Now some might say the reason the bottom card goes for way more is because it has that first edition symbol. But that's really not the reason. The reason is in the pop count. There's a quarter, one fourth less of that Charizard with first edition. So while this card is still an amazing price at almost $10,000, the other card, first edition, has far less. That's why it sells for 21 times the value of the other base, same exact card. And it works for sports cards too. Here's the Barry Bonds rookie, 1987 Donruss PSA 10, selling for about $150, and you see there's 1,800. The clear PSA 10 has less, only 1,200, and it goes for more money, about $200. You start to see a pattern. And finally, here are the big hitters less than 500 in a pop count and both selling for far far more than the other cards with higher pop counts it's all in pop count be smart with your purchases there'll be plenty of great buys in the near future just be smart about what you're buying and definitely look at the pop count what up everybody this is robert ory aka big shot bob and you're watching professional sports cards hey by the way go buy my rookie card